We're gonna go over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Come on. We're gonna go over all the different most common carburetors. Paul's gonna hold them here and make sure that they don't fall down. You gotta look through the, the hole. You yeah, but open it. my finger's in the way. Yeah, but you gotta. How do? You, how is that one? It's pretty good. So don't don't even breathe. Yeah, I got you. You're breathing right now. There it is. I got it. Don't. <laughs> don't move. <laughs> All right. So now creep creep around here. <laughs> so we got Delordo. These usually come in 17-ish millimeters, at least for the PHBG. 17 up to, what, 21? Yeah. 21 usually. Yeah. And we got the CP Polini. These come in 15 to 24. Yep. Uh, usually you find them 17 and larger. Then you have your P PWK. This one's a Polini, but they're all pretty similar. Yeah, similar Usually design. they start around 24 millimeters, then they go up 26, 28, 30, 32, 34. And then we have the Air Striker. That's your favorite? This is, yeah, this is my favorite. It's uh, ridiculously large and it makes your bike go really fast. Wh why, is it your, why is it specifically your favorite though? Because uh, it doesn't fall over on the table. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So this is... Uh, this is... <laughs> this, <laughs> this is Paul's pick because it doesn't yeah. fall over. Um, uh, also with these carbs, the Delordo. Paul, you want to hold the Delordo and display it? Delordo. Your, like, there you go. Yeah, okay. Go ahead and rotate it around a little bit while I talk about it. The uh, the Delordo, the 19 in question, guys, does not have a vacuum port. So if you're going to buy the 19, uh, this model does not have a vacuum port. The racing one does. The racing one does, but it's but also twice it's, uh, the expense. It's 150 bucks, yeah. I think. Um, something like that. So if you're going to buy this, uh, the 17.5 does have a vacuum port. The larger ones do not when you're talking about buying a standard Delordo. Um, if you have a vacuum on your intake. Yes, exactly. So if you buy this carburetor, you need to put a vacuum, um, an intake that has a, uh, a vacuum uh, nipple on it. And then also this one is the um, cable style choke where the smaller ones are gonna be the um, uh, except electric choke and they're going to also have adapter kits to allow you to run a cable as well. Yep, so, and they have the, the little knob too, yeah. kind of like, like this one. Yep. And the, the nice thing about the Delordos, guys, Delordos work really well with stock air boxes. They pop right in. Yeah. Um, and then uh, also on the on the Delordo, you have uh, these two guys. You're not going to do anything with those. You just your main concern is uh, is the gas. Do you want to show them where the the gas is on the the gas nipple is on the Delordo? Delordo right here. It's a opposite from the idle screw. So we got idle screw here. This when you turn this in, it lifts up your slide. And it turns your idle up by giving it more, pretty much just giving it throttle. More throttle. And then you have your air fuel mixture screw. Oh, so actually, something to keep in mind, guys. On the left, this adjusts gas. Yep. So taking this out gives it more gas, turning it in gives it less gas. Which on the CP, CP it's the opposite. Opposite, yeah. So on the CP, this adjusts the air, so you get. When you turn it left, you're getting more air. When you're turning it right, you're getting less air. Paul's Paul's having his uh, his way here, showing you how the slide works. But the Delordo is a round slide carb, and that's how your cap comes off. You just some of them it there. some of them have two screws, yep. similar to the Polini. So we're gonna kind of just show you the basics of each carb, um, and then uh, after that, we'll kind of show you how the how the cables go into one of the carb. And the theory is gonna be the same on For all these different carburetors on most of them. Um, but these are your most common carburetors. These are the most common carburetors that you're gonna see used on Honda Dio, Honda Elite, Yamaha yep. Zuma, uh, Prebug, Jog, all those bikes, Piaggio Typhoon, Minarellis. This is, yep. um, this is kind of the Delordo is gonna be, that's kind of- Delordo's kind of like the standard almost. Yeah, it's kind of standard. They're 
Really good with stock air boxes, which is uh, people really do like about them. The Delorto does have three jets inside where all these other ones have yep. two. So there's kind of some pros and, and cons to that. They are, what I found, they're very sensitive to um, uh, all the adjustments and yep. needle clip is yep. extremely the needle, sensitive. Needle's really important. Yep. I'd um, say for a beginner, this is a lot, a lot of a easier to tune at the very least. Yeah. Less needle tuning. Which car are you a fan of? Like if you had a... Uh, a Sport Zuma kit. Sport Zuma, Delorto. Yeah. Okay. Well, Paul, I am a fan of the Plingy CP. That's all right. Yep. Yeah. I um, like I like my Delortos. Yep. The uh, the the twenty one Delortos are really hard to tune. Yeah. The nineteens are pretty straightforward. The um, so the next carb. So we kind of gave you guys a rundown again. You have um, no no air nipple on that guy for vacuum. Yep. You have so, oil. That's for your oil injection there. Bro, on the uh, back of the Look at it, it's, it's, it's going like, it's just smashing into everything. But it's, it's working, right? Yeah, I think it's it's stuck right there. Not yet. I have a little bit of an issue it's down here. So it's almost like, well, it's almost. It's done. What'd you have for breakfast, Paul? Yogurt. How was it? It was great. It was kind of, um, it was frozen a little, but it's okay. <laughs> the fridge was really cold, huh? Yeah. Did you turn it down? Yeah, I turned it down. No, it was, it was at like 12 degrees. Mm -hmm. I turned it down. It went up to like 22. Okay, so it's getting there. It's getting there, yeah. So now we're going to show you how to put the cable in on the round slide carbs. It's a little bit different. They're about, they're practically the same between your Polini, CP, and Delorto. So we're just going to show you the Delorto one for now. This cap just unscrews. And you start, take this. Slide your cable through. Actually, get this boot first. Boot. And then slide your little cap. Take your spring. The spring on the Delorto is a little bit different than the uh, flat slide. You have to. It's a little bit. Is it longer? Uh, almost. It's like a different coil it's, rate almost. It's, yeah. 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 See, it doesn't. So you kind of have to squeeze this down. And if you guys need a new spring, make sure to get one specific for your carb where yes. this one's not going to work right in the CP and whatever. Show them the actual nub. Like, hold it here. Show them the nub on the plastic. Yep. So you got a nub on the plastic. That so, helps hold your cable in place. Yep. So that's how your cable goes in. And then you have this little little um, nub there, and that's going to lock down in the slide. And you guys will see, you guys will see that in the actual top of the slide here. Yep. Um, you see where your cable goes in, your cable's gonna go in that hole and then in the recess. So you wanna make sure that cable goes in and then kind of around to lock down into that, um, lock down into that slot. Yep. And Paul will show you how that's done. Yep, so what you do, good. You slide this down and then as you can, I don't know, do you see? Yeah, it's a little, little yep. bit weird, but so that should work. Slide it over, you can feel it's right in the spot. You let the spring down, give a little twist, hear it click into place. You can even look, you see the nub right there. And then this, you have, uh, with the round slide carbs, it's a lot, it's a little bit different than the flat slide. So you have, inside here, you have a little notch. And that notch lines up with this. Show them what happens when you don't install it in right. Oh, so yeah. put it in so the wrong you, way. If you put it in backwards, it'll go in. And it'll hold in the right, it'll f kind of feel right, but it'll, yeah. You don't, you don't have the screw down. Right? Yeah. So, you see, it's it's like stuck wide open. And what happens is this is when people say, hey, I, you know, I started my bike and my bike started okay. up and it's just wide open throttle. It did that because that slide is stuck open. So if yep. you, you do a carb and you start it up and it's wide open, your slide's in wrong. Yep. So if you're correct slide, you'll see this notch goes with this notch on this side. The smaller notch goes on the idle screw side, and you'll re you'll literally see it just slides right in, and closes. And you screw this cap down. So next, we're going to go over the Pliny. We're going to go over the Pliny CP. These are Italian-made carbs. They're really small. Um, yep. That is my personal favorite, and and you can use them with some stock air boxes with a Pliny CP adapter. Yep. But they do fit the best um, with pod filters. So let's go ahead and show them the uh, the two ports, the right. air and the oil. So you got air vacuum here on this side, and then on this side you have the oil. Yep. 
oil injection. Okay. And Pelini comes with caps, so you can cap those. I think it comes with the caps on there. It, it, yeah. It, I think they're in the box. Okay. Yeah. It comes with caps, so you, if you're not using these, you need to cap them off, because otherwise it's letting air in. Yep. So show them the, uh, the uh, I mean, there's not really a whole no. lot more to this guy, except yeah. that's your gas. Gas, choke. These come with the choke knob. They do make a adapter or a kit where you can put a cable choke on if that's more your style. Usually some bikes it's easier with the knob, some bikes it's easier with the cable depending on the placement of the car. Mm -hmm. Why do you keep why do you keep messing with putting your finger in there? Where? In here? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You gotta <laughs> give it the gas. <laughs> Alright. Um, so for me, I really like that. Oh, go ahead and just show us how the slide works, Paul. Just go ahead and give it the Paul uh, Paul rating. How's it feel? It's pretty good. Okay, feels good. That's Paul yep. rating. Um, uh, how do you rate that car? About like one to ten. Ten, ten. being. Oh, it's a ten. No. What is it? Uh, eight and a half. Eight and a half. All right. So, uh, what was the Paul rating on the Delorto? Probably nine. Oh, I like I like my Delortos. I don't know if I don't I, know if you can be an employee here. If I I like the Delorto more, but. This is a better car. Okay. I'm just messing with you. Everybody has different opinions. Yep. Um, the Another the thing to note, uh, this, the spring on this is softer than the Delorto. Like to actually twist, twist the throttle, this is a little bit easier to turn. Show us how you twist the throttle again? What? Show us how you, is that actually really how you do it? No. Okay. Um, all right. So if you guys, one thing to keep in mind here is when you guys are choosing your carburetor, you need to make sure your manifold uh, matches. Obviously, if you have, you know, <laughs> the difference in size, if, if um, somebody wants to run a big giant carb like this, you have to make sure you have a manifold that works with this. And that's a down, that's one of the downfalls if you guys are running the chrome style CT manifolds is the boots. You can't get, um, well, you can get some, but you don't have a whole lot of options for, for putting small carbs or big carbs on the CT style chrome manifolds. The best style intake manifold you guys want to run is going to be something like this because you can change the boot out. So you can change the boot out on that guy. It's a tight one. It's a tight one. You can change the boot foot. out on that. Um, but you want it to be tight. Yeah. Yeah. You can change the boot to different sizes, which again, that's that's kind of the, the pro to having a manifold that has a two bolt style um, flange here versus the um, your CP yeah. here. Because if you have a CP, obviously hold that CP up to the, or uh, hold the CT style manifold up to the is that going to be a good fit? I don't think so. You know what? I actually had a guy that... What did he do? I showed you that intake, the custom one, right? Yeah. I had a guy slide a radiator hose over a stock manifold, and, and then he slid the PWK24 in the radiator hose. Yep. That's, it was actually in Boston. Was that you? Was that was that the one with the elite intake that was all JB? I don't know. Together? He sent me a picture asking why it wasn't working right, and there was just fire shooting out of the exhaust. It was MXS intake with a stock. No. In, anyways, all right. Yep. So we got idle right here in the middle. Works the same way as the uh, every other car. Just the screw turning it in just pushes pushes the slide up. Yep. And then the uh, air idle adjustment. Air idle. So this, as you see, if your screws on the carb side and not the filter side this adjusts how much gas is going in if it's on the filter side it adjusts how much air goes in so that's where these carbs are, are di different, different. They're, they're both round slides so what that means is the actual slide is round um, the way that these slides work and the springs and everything are going to be very similar you've got seat yep. clips in there as well um, again something to keep in mind delordos work really good with stock air boxes they're really finicky to tune with um, pod filters. CPs are really, really good with pod filters. Um, what I found with CPs is they're very consistent where yep. you pretty much you can, know if you somebody- You can bolt this onto a bike and it'll run. Exactly, almost the idle's perfect. Almost yep. everything out of the box is really good. Um, they're very, very close. So that's personally why I like the yep. CP. When I sell one to a customer and they get one, and they say, hey, it's doing this and it's doing that. Here's my jetting. It's very easy for me to help the customer tune because it's a very consistent yep. car. Usually with these, they come with, the CP comes with a 40 pilot jet. So usually you have to adjust, you have to okay. change it because it's going to run a little bit rich. The CP, you're going to want to change your pilot jet because it's too large from the factory. So you buy the kit, the 32 to 40 kit. And, and where do you buy the kit from? Scooterswapshop.com. <laughs>
All right, let's, uh, okay, so we've kind of gone over those two carburetors. Um, uh, pros and cons of both. I haven't found any cons of, of this other than the fact that this fits better um, with a stock air box. So this is what I suggest for guys that want to keep it quiet. They want a stock air box. They're riding in, you know, rain or whatever. Um, that's going to be better for weather conditions and, and whatnot. But it, in my opinion, they're, they're, in my opinion, they're a little more finicky to tune and they're more yep. sensitive. So um, you want to go over the uh, PWK? Yep. All right. So we got the PWK here, Pellini. It's a uh, pretty pretty similar with the keen what same PWK kind of same design yeah yep so you got this comes with caps on the uh, things here yeah that's gonna be that's gonna be your vacuum so your yep. vacuum port yeah um, from your petcock or for oil but if you're using oil injection on a 32 <laughs> yeah. you're, you're in trouble so yeah, you, you got your problem yep. so yep so you got oil injection there if you're not using or vacuum there vacuum. if you're not using vacuum then just tap it then gas right here. You can leave that cap on. Yeah. yeah. Gas right here. In the red. And this carb is a D slide carburetor, which the slide is in the shape of a um, of a D, of course. Same same basically internal design where you have your spring and you have your plastic clip, and we'll go over that in a minute. Um, yep. These guys are just going to be uh, just going to be vents, and if you tip the bike over, um, obviously it's going to spill out of there. You've yep. got your um, your drain for your uh, overflow. If your bike overflows, it's going to come out there. Yep. You've got a removable. You know, flip it over so you can see the bottom. Yep. That's you got a removable said. from the from the factory. It comes with a removable Cap. plug, so you can change your main jet easily. Yeah. So that's These, that's nice. You can actually, um, if you take this off, you can actually notch the inside threads out and access your pilots too. Um, but you've got to use like a Dremel or whatever. And the Pliny CP does not have that. They make a bowl though. They do, but the bowl's plastic. And the Pliny no, they CP, make, they the make Evo. A... The Evo bowl comes with a nut okay. on it. I know I know one of them did. And they yeah. make a Delorto mm -hmm. one too. If you get the black one that comes with the vacuum nipple, it also comes with a bowl that has the, the cap. The cap. And it, it helps. Yep. It definitely makes it easier versus yeah. pulling the bowl off Four every screws. single time. Yep. Um, show, you want to show them where the... the Air idle and the idle speed is. Yep. So we got idle. It's a kind of a knob, but it's still a screw. It turns your idle up. Same same way as every other carb does. You've got air fuel mixture. Maybe too big. Yeah, it's too big. Okay. Uh, same idea as the CP. It's on the right right hand side of the idle screw on the filter side. So this adjusts the air turning it in gives you less air, turning it out gives you more air. Yep. And, and that's, most of that adjustment's gonna be kind of for idle and bottom end and, and all that, but it does yep. still affect your, your mixture across the board. Yep. Um, and, uh, how's, this, how's the slide feel? I see you, your finger in the slide. I like this one the most. Oh, yeah? Because yeah. well, it's the biggest? No, I don't know. Oh. It, it just feels better. Okay, so Paul likes the feel of the slide the most. You want us to open it up and give us the eyeball peer down so we can really see how it looks? How's it, how's it, you gotta look through the, the hole. You yeah, but open it. my finger's in the way. Yeah, but you gotta, so, uh, Paul. It's very, it's very smooth. It's very smooth. So, Paul likes the, uh, the feel, because this, the slide is very smooth. Yep. Cable um, goes in different on these. Yep, cable does go in a little bit different. So, let's show them the inside here. Don't mess with any of these. Uh, they'll have, these, a lot of times will have these little removable jets. Don't mess with those. Don't pull them out. CP has it too. Obviously, if you clean the carb, it's a good idea to take them out, but people will think that they can be swapped and, and whatever, but that's not something you want to mess with. They're tuned for that specifically. Yep. Um, the, the Pliny uh, PWK is that, I don't really suggest PWKs for Zumas because they're giant, they're bulky. Yeah. Um, Zumas don't have a whole lot of room. PWK is something you're gonna run on like a Honda Dio, Honda Elite, or if you're running like a Piaggio and you have a rear facing manifold or or a, um, yeah. that Zumas don't really need giant carbs. Most of your Yamaha Zumas are gonna be 17 to 21s max. If you run a 24 plus, that's like a, a stage six MK2 race kit or MHR or something yep. like that. You need yeah. a big carb. Um, if you're going to be running giant carbs, you're, you're basically just going to suck yep. fuel and lose performance yep. and it's going to be hard to tune. Yep. So, which is very, very common. You don't need a giant carburetor. Um, I run a 30, I'm running 35s on my twin. Um, uh, so that's per 100, per 100 cc, which is about about right, where there's guys running 35s on, on, on bikes that should be running 17s and 19s. So yep. um, you want to go over the, uh, 
the um, air striker. Um, air striker. So we got the air striker here. It's, uh, it's pretty similar to the. PWK. They're both PWKs. It's definitely bigger. It's definitely bigger. And then the nice thing about whatever, so this is going on the 200, but what I really like about this carburetor is I like the cap because um, I'm going to be cursing the whole entire time when I'm trying to jet that, get that bike dialed, plus being two carbs, having yep. to sink them. Um, it's really nice yeah. to be able to unthread that it's, cap. It's a lot easier doing this yep. than either taking the carb off and... Yep. And something to keep in mind is the... Um, the the this is this is top shelf. So uh, Key and Makuni, they're pretty much some of the best carburetors. Yep. These guys retail for right around uh, 200 bucks, 180 to 200 dollars. My cost on these is like 185. Where the Polini the Polini carb is going to be right. The, the PWK, the larger PWKs are more, but they are in the realm of like 115 to 125 Very bucks. Something good there. value. You're going to see a lot of knockoff uh, key-ins as well. And believe it or not, they only sell for about 20 bucks less. So if you see a cheap key-in on eBay, it's fake. Because Chris got one that was only 20 bucks less. And, it, and it's really hard to tell unless they're side by side. But they're Chinese made, they're fake. They do a really good job copying. Um, I have yet to see fake CPs. There are fake Delordos. So lots of fake Delordos. Lots of fake Delordos. So if it's too cheap, then it's sometimes they're the same price too. Exactly. Buy from a reputable seller. Yep, exactly. Buy from a good seller. I haven't seen any fake um, uh, Polinis, but you guys are going to see OKOs. OKOs are are a copy or want to be copy of this style car basically. Um, Where's so, this style? They're yeah. About the same. OKOs are, are copies. Um, they're made in Taiwan, but then there are copies of copies of copies made in China. So, yep. like Paul said, it's just it's not worth the money. Yeah, um, you end up you end up buying the wrong part the first time, and then you end up getting frustrated with it or it breaks, and you end up buying the right part the second time when you could have just had the right part from the yep. start. So just, just two um, screws, they both come out. And you go, yeah, this. There's a gasket in here. And one tip: don't do this on gravel. Because uh, don't do this in the grass or dirt. Do this on concrete because when you lose these parts, it's game over. Yeah, you gotta order it. From? And usually, where do you order from? Uh, Scooterswapshop.com. <laughs> but they probably don't have it. Oh, burn! We actually do for the cleaning stuff, not for Delorto. Do you have you have like the little parts? I do. Yeah. Do you? Oh, yeah, I do. nice. Uh -huh. I know okay. Part Shop has every, all this mm -hmm. stuff for everything. You got your cap. Your spring goes on the cap. Goes inside. Your cable comes through here. And it goes through this. It's like a spring seat. It holds your needle down so it doesn't pop up and give it too much gas. Okay. And then this. This slides into and, here. And you have to have it oriented right because Properly. if you look at the shape. Yeah, it's, um, if you look at the shape and you turn it, and you turn the, it the wrong, wrong it direction. There you go. Yeah, it doesn't go in all the way. See this uh, shape of that slide there? If you put this thing in wrong, it's not going to slide down all the way, and it's not going yep. to hold down your um, your your C clip and whatnot. So, yep. um, so here's your your right. needle. So your needle adjustment, you got. If you go, if you bring this down, it makes it richer because it's it's pushing this needle up, and the needle goes in here and it lets lets the fuel into the bike pretty much. Yep. And if you take this need this clip off and move it up. That's going to make lower the needle, and it's going to give you less gas, make it leaner. And if you need a 90 or 45 at the top, yep. this is the time to do it, of course, because it's going to take yep. up more slack on the cable. Um, and also, a yep. lot of bikes, you want to have a 90 or 45, so you're not hitting fairings. And yep, and this just unscrews, so you can screw in your 90, 45, whatever, whatever angle. Take your spring, slide it right over, squeeze it down, take your spring seat, this slides into the spring. Your cable, you slide it right in, and then there's a groove there. You kind of want to hold it in the groove. There you go, perfect. If you don't have that black slide spun around the right way, it's yep. not going to cover. Yep, you want it to cover. And yep. then when you go to remove it, you just slide the spring up. Okay. Or you can even push the needle. Let's bring it um, up here so you guys can kind of see. Yep. This is what it should look like here. You shouldn't see this cable connection. That plastic is going over and it's basically holding this cable in. It's holding the um, the needle in where it should. If you see your cable here, then you've got this in. Uh, you've got this in the wrong way. You're going to have problems. So yep. um, let's show them how to put, how to put it in. It's pretty yep. straightforward. But. Yep. The D slide, it's pretty easy. You just go. just slides right in and it only goes one way. Make sure this notch is lined up with the flat side. 
flat side of the carburetor and you get these screws in there. You want to hold this down. Start them by hand. You don't want to strip anything. All right, guys. So now you've seen how to do a slide on a. This is gonna be the same on a an OKO if you have an OKO. If you have a Polini carb, it's gonna be that way. Um, and you can see it works. It works properly. good. It opens up all the way. It closes. Um, it sl it snaps back nice. If anything's if anything's getting bound up, and you want to make sure when you give it wide open throttle, it's opening up all the way. Yep. Um, if it's not, then you've got uh, a cable the issue. Speed a slack issue and, and whatever. So you definitely, you don't want the slide to get bound up. If this slide gets bound up, you're gonna wheel into the bushes, which which uh, which Paul says he's gonna show us a little bit later. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and take this back apart just so it's together and then we'll do the Delorto one. Yep. Do you want to do the Delorto or the CP? We've already talked about the PWK style car. We've showed you guys how to put in slides. So now we're gonna go over the Polini CP, the differences, the jet styles, and we're also gonna go over the uh, this Deloto 19 and kind of give you guys a rundown of the difference between these two carbs, jet sizing, and all that good stuff. We'll start with the Deloto. Uh, you have your main jet, your pilot's down under here. I don't know if you can quite see it. Then you have your starter jet, choke jet. Yeah, it's a starter, slow choke, yep. whatever, yeah. 19, 21, yeah, just 19 and 21 use the 5 millimeter jets. Then the 17 and smaller use 6 yes. millimeter. Yep. And the stock Zuma carb as well. Then your floats here, pretty standard. And that's got a paper gasket, right? Paper, yep. Which is not really great, to be honest, compared yep. to an O ring gasket. So. Yeah, but it, it works. Yeah. That gets the job done. Yep. The other thing is, you won't really typically mess with this jet when you guys are doing adjustments. Yeah. The Lordos always come with giant pilots, typically. Yeah, like a um, 45. The mains are typically too small, and the pilots are typically too big, from what I ran into. Um, and then you won't really mess with this. But. Yeah. So, same style on the float, for the most part, kind of how you adjust it. You don't have yeah. the cap on the bottom, you get a paper gasket. Um, so, pros and cons to both, but theoretically kind of the same same thing. And like make sure when you guys are changing out jets, use the right size screwdriver. If you use a too big a one or too small, you'll strip it out. And if your jet's yep. stuck, it's not good. So. Yep. All right. So now moving on to the CP. Get your get this little thing out of here, so you can see it better. You got your main jet here. These are six millimeter hex jets. They're not the same as the Delordo six millimeter jets. So keep that in mind. They use the same style jets as the PWKs but usually you're gonna run a smaller actual size jet so they're interchangeable sort of within reason so the, but, you could literally take this jet out obviously the size of the orifice is gonna be wrong yeah. but you could take this jet out and it'll bolt into the PWK Polini <clears throat> it'll bolt into the um, any of the key hand D slide cards so um, the the Delordos change millimeter sizes for the yep. jet and they're where the point all the plenty carbs are going to use the same size um same size main but paul will explain the difference yep. on the pilots your pilot pilots right here usually the cps come with a little bit too big of a pilot so that's why you order the kit and you change it to the pilot jet uh the pilot jets between the keen and polini pwk they look similar, but they're not quite the same. So you have to make sure you have the right jets to make your bike run properly. And one thing is all these carbs, you guys get carbs. I've literally had people throw carbs away because they say that they weren't pre-tuned out of the box. Any carb you put on your bike, there's not going to be a carb that you're going to put on other than the bone stock carb that is going to be bolt on and go. Every single carb you get, you will have to tune for your bike, your elevation. Um, yes. And, and everything and make sure it's really best to buy a jet kit because if you think you're going to save money when you go down to your store and you guys buy these jet kits this jet by itself is about six to seven bucks a piece at a motorcycle dealership yep. where you can buy a whole kit of 20 for like 20 bucks yep. um and same with the pilots you cannot buy these cp pilots anywhere they're specific to the cp um so yeah and, and yep. then you've got no ring there right paul yep you got an o-ring Yep, o-ring here, o-ring gasket, seals better than the paper. Although the paper does get the job done, this is definitely a better design. It'll definitely last longer. Less prone to leaks. Yeah, this has the uh, overflow in here, whereas the Delordo has it 
on the side. Okay. And the, the Delorto and CP are both D slide cards. No, I'm sorry. Round the, slide. The pointy, yeah, the CP and Delorto's are both round slide. So. So, hey Paul, guess what? What? I just did Moses with the microphone off again. Did you really? <laughs> <laughs> Why? I, I didn't mean to. I'm not perfect. Let's make the same mistakes twice. Welcome to my world, Paul. Maybe you should be filming. So we're gonna go over again what we already went over because, uh, yeah, because I didn't do my job right. So we're gonna open it up, open it up all the way, so you guys can see in here. There's your, um, there's your needle and the taper. Are you strong enough? Are you good? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. So this is wide open throttle, and you want to make sure when you guys get your cable installed um, and in properly, that <laughs> keep keep it open. All right. Uh, you want to make sure that this is this is all the way open here, as you can see Paul's uh, mug looking through. This is this is maximum wide open throttle, and you're gonna let all the fuel in, um, all your your fuels, all your fuels come in through the uh, main jet here. Um, if your if your slide is only like maybe, don't pull it up all the way, just a little bit. There you go. Stop. If your slide is only going this way. Your cable um, and your throw on your actual throttle is um, is not correct. Oh, there's too much slack. Is yeah, there's too much slack. So you want to make sure this opens all the way and go ahead and let it shut, Paul. Um, and what Paul mentioned earlier, but I don't think we recorded because there was no audio. You want this adjustment will raise yeah. and lower that slide, and this is your idle. If um, if it's see. stuck or it's hung up a little bit, your idle is going to be too high. So you can see there's a little bit of a little bit of play, and yep. that allows this to sit all the way down and this lets the idle adjust. So all these carbs you want to make sure your idle adjustment is here. If you turn this up and down and your idle's not going up and down then you've got an issue with your cable being uh, too short. You never, it's also a bad idea because it's tighten too much like with your adjustments up yep. here. Also if you um, if you adjust your idle with your with your cable and you turn around and your uh, your throttle cable gets stuck or snagged and it pulls. I have a really good video of that. I have a bike where this was too tight up here and it takes off into a bush. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I know it was a really long video, um, but uh, yeah, hopefully it was informative. When you're choosing your carb, get a hold of us if you have questions. Again, if, if you're gonna buy from a different supplier, ask them specifically. You wanna contact the supplier you're buying your parts from to get advice on. But just for example, everyone's gonna be a little bit different. This C170 motor, uh, we're running a 32 Polini PWK, really good fit for that motor. My twin, my twin I'm running two, I think this is 28 PWKs, which are probably a little small for the setup, 70. Um, Piaggio and Minarelli are always gonna be more efficient motors. Um, so typically they don't need quite as big a carbs as like a Honda Dio or something like that. We've got a Honda Dio 70cc, this guy's for sale, MHR, running a 26 on this, typically 24, 26, 28. Um, 28's bit kind of big in my opinion, but it, it runs really good. 28's run good in, in different areas. We've got a Yamaha Zuma engine we're building. This is gonna go up for sale. This would probably get, this is a street race. I'd probably do probably a 19, 1921 for that guy. Um, that's a SR50 Piaggio motor. I'm pretty sure we're doing a carb swap on that. That'd probably be a 21 as well. So like I said, these two motors are gonna make more power than this, but this needs a bigger carburetor just because of the intake design is really, really bad on the Honda Elite and Honda Dio versus these guys are just straight in, um, straight into the case where this has to work 90 and around or whatever. Um, so they're all gonna be different applications. This customer uh, has a Delorto carburetor. It's probably looks like a, a 19. Don't just buy whatever package somebody's trying to push you into online. A lot of times you get an Amazon carb or, or a really poor quality carb. Um, and you don't need to go giant. You just, you need to get that right size for your application. So thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, uh, let us know. Post down below. We did our best to give you guys the most amount of information, but it, it's really hard to squeeze it all in. Long video, but uh, yeah. So thanks for watching, have a good day, share, subscribe, and uh, like, let us know what you want to see next. <laughs> All right, are you gonna set them up this time? You need sockets underneath and it would be so much easier. Come on, Paul, it's not about easy. I don't know. This, well, is, a, this is like a good um, learning, learning lesson to test your, oh, that one's hard. That one's balancing <laughs> on a nut. <laughs> Come on.
Breathe in, breathe out, wax on, wax off. <laughs> You're too young for that, huh? Oh, I know that one. You know Karate Kid? Yeah. Alright. How's this work? How'd you have this set Come up? Come on. Oh, I thought you were a pro. What? No, no. <laughs> you put, yeah, yeah, no, not on that piece. You just, you, you stand oh, it. Oh, <laughs> on, okay, I see. Yeah, you stand it. Makes sense. But the angle's not right now. Now it doesn't match the other ones. You got, the angles have to match. That's good. I mean, it's all right. All right. You okay. sure it's all right? It's not okay. Hold on. Just read. So you want them like this, right? Sideways? Yeah, sideways. Okay. Why don't you tell us about yourself, Paul? I'm Paul. It's not much to tell. Where are you from? Well, I'm from Boston, Massachusetts. What are you doing here? Working. Yeah? Trying to work. Yeah? Trying to make these carburetors stand still. And, and what do you think so far about Scooter Swap Shop? It's pretty good. Yeah? What are you going to say? You look like you're going to say something. I don't know. <laughs> you know. Thinking about what to say. <laughs> can you can you think and balance carbs at the same time? It's a lot. It's a lot. Ooh, that's good. That's good, Paul. These are the behind the scenes that you guys rarely see. The time and, and, and stresses that go in <laughs> to creating YouTube videos for you guys 